Hello, Sleepwave listeners, Carissa here. Before we start today's episode, this isn't a paid ad, I just wanted to recommend another podcast that I think you'll love. Night Falls is a podcast of bedtime stories for adults, designed to help you fall asleep tonight. Every episode is a brand new story with a medley of accounts from the magical Night Falls, soothing tales, and classic fiction you'll recognize. Night Falls is our official sister podcast, hosted by our friend Jeffrey, and let me tell you, his accent couldn't be more perfect for sleep. So search Night Falls on your favorite podcast app, and if you're like me, you'll be asleep in no time. But for now, it's time for Sleep Wave. Hi, I'm Carissa Vacker, and welcome back to Sleep Wave, a podcast where we let waves of relaxation wash over you through original sleep meditations and hypnosis created to help you fall asleep tonight. And don't worry if you don't hear the end of an episode. I encourage you to drift off whenever you're ready. Before we get started on tonight's episode, I'd like to say thanks again for all of the great ratings and reviews you guys have left us on Apple Podcasts and some of the other networks, too. We love hearing from you, and it's such an honor to help you sleep better at night and have better days, too. So if you, too, find that sleep has come easier since listening to Sleep Wave and you've not yet reached out to us, please feel free to let us know via the reviews on Apple Podcasts. We read them every day, and your ratings and reviews help us to reach even more people who need a little help with their sleep right now. One of my favorite ways to focus my mind before sleep, or any time really, is to think about the things I'm grateful for. I especially like to recommit to a routine of practicing gratitude when I realize things are going off the rails a bit. For example, right now I have my second cold in two weeks and an old injury is flaring up, so I've been pretty uncomfortable physically, which makes sleep, and honestly, everything else, a challenge. Health and well-being take maintenance, but it's easy to let these things slide sometimes when other things seem to be demanding your attention. Practicing gratitude always helps me gently open the door to thinking again about what I do want. It's easy and completely natural to think about what you don't have or what is bothering you. But when you're wanting to create a conscious shift in your life, be it to sleep better, have increased health, better relationships, invite more abundance, or any other shift, It's helpful to imagine a situation in which you already have what you are wanting. It's also helpful to turn your mind toward appreciating what you currently do have right in this moment. My gratitude practice last night went something like this. First, I noticed what was really happening in the moment that was drawing most of my attention. My throat and lower back hurt, and I had a slight sinus headache and congestion. Then I thought about what else is really happening in the moment that I am grateful for, and said something like, there is so much of my body that feels good, healthy, and strong, which already made me feel healthier and more relief. Then I turned it into a gratitude statement and said, I am so thankful that my body is strong and knows how to heal and that I will feel better soon. This took all of 30 seconds to do, quietly in my mind as I was lying in bed, but it made such a big difference to how I slept. I still have a cold this morning and some residual soreness from that injury is still lingering. But just having that gentle shift in my mindset has made it more bearable. If there is any shift you are wanting to make in your life, I invite you to do this simple practice with me. To recap, first, recognize what you're wanting to shift. Next, 
make a positive, true statement about it. Lastly, create a simple gratitude affirmation around it. Tonight, we are going to meditate on health and well-being as we drift off to a sweet and healing sleep. This is Practicing Gratitude for Well-Being by Billy Gill. Health isn't only the absence of illness. A person's degree of health has a lot to do with how well they can respond to change. If a stressful situation arises in someone's life, for example, how well they can adapt to the stressor indicates their level of health. If someone is healthy, they will be able to move through that period relatively unscathed, depending on how intense the stress is. If there is already a deficit, the stressor may become a source of illness. This is why, through meditation and other lifestyle practices, one builds up a store of health and preserves what is already there. Sometimes it's not easy to see how healthy or unhealthy you already are at a given moment. This is especially true with regard to health. There is an old saying, when the shoe fits, the foot doesn't feel it. When you are healthy and feeling well, you may not be conscious of the fact that you feel good. In fact, it is perfectly natural that you wouldn't be because, well, you feel good. The shoe fits, and so there is no uncomfortable feeling calling out for attention. An unfortunate side effect of that is that we may not only take our health for granted, but we may actually squander it on habits and other activities that slowly drain that store of well-being away, bit by bit. Tonight's sleep meditation will be an opportunity to bring conscious awareness to all the comfortable shoes in our lives that don't cry out for our attention, but dutifully carry us through daily life and function as they should. By sending some gratitude and appreciation to the areas of our bodies, minds, and lives that are flourishing, we amplify the good, which has a positive influence on the whole. Take your time as you settle into a comfortable position. The most important thing is that you are comfortable, so feel free to experiment with the optimal position. It's normal to change postures as you sleep, so there's no need to be rigid with the body position you choose. In general, Lying comfortably on your back is recommended to start the meditation, as it makes breathing more regular and efficient. If you need to move or make any adjustments as you meditate, please feel free. Just make sure you are conscious of any movements. As you lie on your back or in whatever position you feel comfortable that still allows you to breathe smoothly and steadily, watch the rise and fall of your breath. When 
breathing is comfortable, you may not notice that you are breathing at all. Take a moment to be with your breath. Resist the temptation to label the experience you're having as you watch your breath. The mind is often interested in labels and categories. When the mind has attached a label to the experience, it then begins to reject or crave the experience, depending on whether or not it was labeled as something desirable or not. Just suspend the urge to push or pull on your experience for a little while if you can. Watch the breath as it rises and falls. At first, this may feel strange because you aren't used to paying attention to normal breathing while you're at rest. But as you practice this, you are cultivating a relationship with your breath that may blossom into a beautiful friendship. For now, just watch your belly rise and fall as you breathe. Mentally say to yourself, as you watch the navel rise and fall. Inhale, navel rising. Exhale, navel falling. Inhale, navel rising. Exhale, navel falling. There is a natural pause as the inhale turns into an exhale, and vice versa. In that brief interlude, there is an opportunity for stillness. Just be patient and wait for your next breath to appear. Go on. Inhale, navel rising. Exhale, navel falling. Inhale, navel rising. Exhale, navel falling. Inhale, navel rising. Exhale, navel falling. Go on. As you begin to scan your body, beginning down at the feet, imagine a warm golden light at each location. Visualize this warm golden light in your feet. 
feet. As you breathe in, the light grows a bit brighter. And as you breathe out, it grows a bit dimmer so that the light is pulsating with your breath. Watching the golden light pulsating with each breath at the level of the feet. Inhale. Exhale. At the level of the feet, go on watching the light pulsate with the breath. Simply notice what you are experiencing. Is there a feeling of well-being in the feet? Remember that feeling of well-being might mean that you barely notice the feet. If this is the case, pause for a moment and pour a feeling of gratitude into the feet with this golden light, expanding and contracting with every inhale and exhale. If you are conscious of any discomfort in the feet, offer them your loving compassion. With this golden light, allow your loving compassion to enter the feet with each breath. Now, moving on to your knees. Knees. If you notice that the light isn't easily felt at the knees, just take note of that. The more you practice this visualization, it will become easier and easier to experience the sensation of this warm golden light expanding and contracting with your breath. There 
may be some blockage or disconnect between your awareness and the felt sensations at the knees. It could be due to an injury or some other reason. Often people will have an experience of dullness, coldness, or even pain when there is a blockage of this type. Just keep suggesting the thought to yourself that there is a warm, golden light pulsating at the level of the knees with each inhale and exhale. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. If there is a feeling of wellness at the knees, again, that feeling of wellness might be that there are no particular sensations calling out to you. Offer a feeling of gratitude into the knees. The essence of gratitude is in deep accord with what is good. You are in harmony with what is good in your life. Whenever you practice mindful gratitude, offer this energy of gratitude toward the knees with every pulsation of the warm golden light as you inhale and exhale. Compassion is a sense of shared being and a wish for others to be free from suffering. You, too, are worthy of this compassion from yourself. Honor yourself by extending that care toward yourself and your body at the level of the knees. 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 Now, moving upward to the hips, pelvis, and lower back. This whole region of the body is filled with this warm, radiant, golden light. It's as though the light is opening up any areas of tightness or stuckness. You don't have to do anything. Simply breathe with the pulsation of the light in the hips, 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 lower back, lower back, lower back, pelvis, 
pelvis. 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 This area of the body is an important center for a feeling of safety and security, as well as a feeling of joy and creativity and fun. When energy flows well in this region of the body, we know that we are at home in our bodies and we take pleasure in them. Again, if you have any difficulty sensing the radiance of this region as you breathe with the warm golden light expanding and contracting with the breath, don't worry. The process of conscious breathing with your gentle awareness at the level of the hips, pelvis, and low back will gradually awaken the abundant energy available to you at the level of the hips. Hip. If there is any discomfort in this area, just gently notice it without getting caught in the mental commentary that might be attached to this area. Let go of the story that you may habitually tell yourself about your discomfort. Focus on sending loving, compassionate awareness to the hips, 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 lower back, lower back. Send 
this warm, radiant light into the region of the belly at the navel in the same way as before. Inhale, light expanding. Exhale, light contracting. Inhale. In a similar way, 
warm golden light, pulsating with the breath. Gratitude. Compassion. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. The crown of the head. The crown of the head. The crown of the head. Warm, golden light. Pulsating with the breath. Gratitude. Compassion. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. The whole body, the whole body, the whole body. Pulsating with the breath. Gratitude. Compassion. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe in. Breathe out. Your whole body is filled with gratitude and loving, compassionate awareness in the form of golden light. You are whole. Wholeness is health. Sleep. Sleep.